Hi, it's Morgan and welcome to the Dove's Nest. In today's video, I'm putting my bags in my launch pad. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan Dove for anyone who's new here. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I am a self-admitted hot mess mom, and currently I am on a journey to develop routines and habits that will help me stay organized, organize my home, and keep it clean. In today's video, I'm adding another step to my evening routine, and that is I'm putting my bags in my launch pad. One of my big mantras for 2020 is do something today to help future me. And so that's sort of where this bags to my launch pad comes in. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Fly Lady system, I will be sure to link a video talking all about it right here. But in her book, Sync Reflections, the author, Marla Silly, who is also the fly lady, talks about having a launch pad. Now your launch pad is essentially a station in your home. It could be a table, it could be a spot on the floor by a door, but it's anywhere that you're going to pass by on your way out of your home in the morning. The reason it's by a door is so that you can just grab everything you need on your way out. It also tends to be a place where you drop everything when you come in and it tends to be a hot spot. So you may already know of where yours is in your home. Tomorrow is Friday and Fridays are typically a day where I am not home most of the morning. I take my son to school and then I take my daughter to dance class. I pick up my son from school. We take him to t-ball practice. And so we've got a lot of things that need to go out the door on Friday mornings because I don't return home in between activities. So every evening, once I'm finished packing my kids' lunches, I will link that baby step video right here. I'll put any other bags that I might need. So for example, my son's t-ball bag and my daughter's dance class bag as well as my purse slash diaper bag. That way, instead of feeling chaos and confusion in the morning and rushing to try to pack everything together, and usually, more often than not, forgetting something important, everything is already there because I did it the night before. So I'm doing something today to help future Morgan. It's a pretty quick video, so if you'd like to see how I pack my bags in my launch pad every evening, keep watching. All right, so I just finished packing my kids' lunch boxes. Ideally, I would like to put everything in my lunch pad, but I want their lunches to stay cold, especially because there's things like chocolate milk and yogurt in there. So I'm actually gonna keep these in the fridge, but I will remember tomorrow morning that we have to grab these, even though they're not in our launch pad. All right, so I know that tomorrow both of my kids have school, my daughter has dance class, and my son has t-ball. So I need to gather their bags for all of those activities and make sure they get in our launch pad. So let's go grab those things right now. Okay, I'm here in front of my entryway closet. Let's see if we can get everything together really quickly. All right, we are here in front of my entryway closet, which I recently decluttered and is staying pretty clean. If you haven't seen that video, I will be sure to link it up here. But for now, I just wanna grab my diaper bag and make sure everything I need is in there, as well as my daughter's dance class bag. So the first thing, dance class bag. Now she wears her dance class outfit to class, but she doesn't wear her shoes. She only wears them once she's inside. So I wanna make sure those are in here and they are not. <laughs> so I'm going to pull her shoe bin out and look for her dance class shoes. Found the ballet shoes, one tap shoe, two tap shoe. All right, so her bag is packed and ready to go. Next, I'm gonna grab my diaper bag here. It's just this giant backpack. And I mostly just wanna make sure that I have diapers and wipes. Um, so I've got some wipes in here. It looks like I do have one, two, three, four, five little baby diapers. I've got a blanket slash nursing cover, a wrap, 
you should be pretty good. And then one more thing I want to check is snacks for the big kids, just in case. And I have a burp cloth <laughs> and a little bag. We actually got this at the hospital. I got it with all three of my kids. It's just a little cooler bag. And um, I keep like granola bars, goldfish, and fruit snacks in there. Just something quick and easy for the big kids if they need a snack so that we can avoid a meltdown. The next thing I wanna make sure is in this closet are my kids' backpacks because they do have school tomorrow. So I have my daughter's backpack here, my son's backpack here. Because they are early learners, they don't really need a ton of stuff. Mostly what goes in their backpacks are their lunch boxes. So I'm just gonna leave everything right here and now I have to go track down my son's t-ball bag, which is usually in his bedroom. So let's go do that. And just as I thought, t-ball bag is right here, ready to go. So let's take it up and put it in the launch pad. Okay, so this is the final bag and I'm actually going to just line them all up in here. Put the diaper bag back in and put my daughter's dance class bag in. And now you can see everything for tomorrow is ready to go. Right in these bins here are my kids' shoes. So basically the last thing they do before they leave the house is put their shoes on and then grab their bags and we are ready to head out the door. You guys, that's it. It's pretty simple. My lunches are already packed and I just need to grab everything, stick it right there by the door, and then I can continue cleaning up my kitchen during the evening. I started doing this when I was working full time and had to take my kids to a nanny. Every day I would have to pack a diaper bag, both of their lunch boxes. I would pack my briefcase, my purse, and my lunch box. And I just started doing it all at night so that I knew it was done in the morning. Then when I stopped working outside of the home full time, I really got out of the habit. I haven't carried a diaper bag for about a year. And in the last eight months or so, I haven't even carried a purse. So when I go do errands, like stop at the grocery store, I have my phone, my keys, my wallet anything my kids have and I'm just carrying everything and it's so obnoxious. I just bought a new backpack to use as my diaper bag. Even though my kids have kind of outgrown the diaper bag stage, I still find it super handy to have a bigger backpack that not only holds my stuff, but can hold drinks and snacks for my kids, as well as a little Ziploc bag with a change of clothes in them. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you did, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you do in the evenings to help prepare yourself for the next morning. As always, if you're interested in following me along on this journey and watching as I develop habits and routines to keep my life clean and organized, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.